Yes, yes, but times are tough, no? Hmm? Nothing to do with the crisis, it's the, it's the spirit of times, no? Crisis doesn't exist for Chanel, but it's the attitude what has changed, no? it's the, For me, it's really a new decade, no? Formidable, formidable. It was, it was, it was, Karl Lagerfeld is the highest level of exceptionalism and, and, and thought in the, not only the presentation and the atmosphere, but the thought about a tweed cape, the thought about androgyny and femininity at the same time, and modernity. I really adored it. I think especially like the first couple of outfits, it was literally clawing yourself out of the um, out of the coal face. Well, Chanel was such a difference from last season, even though it had a similar vocabulary. It was much more kind of dark and gray and sort of rounded with with flat boots. What Carl does is, is, is beyond judgment. You know, it's, it's the man, the man's a master. The man's a master. It's just what direction are we going in this season? I think that's really what you're looking at. There were so many amazing things. I really liked how it was like, it was, it was quite, um, it was a bit student-y. Do you know, I could really see myself studying. white off white and grey, because it's not all black, it's mostly grey, you know? it's, 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 it's a collection with uh, all kinds of shadows from black to white going through all shades of grey. You know? So many clothes, there's so many choices, so many shapes, so many fabrics, that it's impossible to say you didn't like the collection. But the choice of putting it all black, I'm not sure it's that what we want at this moment, look at her with her splendid scarf. Look at me in yellow. Look at him in orange. I think there's a wish of colors and happiness at this time. Look at the audience. You see many people in, in red, pink, you, a little touch like your scarf, but if not, nobody wants to wear uh, for a longer time than some summer day bright colors. Huh? And I also like the attitude of, of, of transparent gemsuits instead of evening dresses. The woman can get into a car, move, then, and uh, it's not like being in uh, tight little fishtail dresses. Huh? He's just a very cultivated person. He speaks many languages and reads many books. That kind of cultivation, that kind of uh, mind is unique. There's only one, and it's exceptional. It's a higher standard because it's cultivated. I mean, the cultivation of the Grand Palais and the, the budget of Chanel and Karl Lagerfeld's extraordinary visionary imagination makes this a marvelous set, a marvelous setting. How difficult is it to find something that uh, you think women are looking for in their wardrobe? You know, this is a very good question with, in fact, no answer, because uh, nobody knows, but in the propositions designers make, they can find something, they think, oh, this is what I wanted, and they can even think that that is what they thought they wanted, but what they had not formulated. It's up to us to formulate what they want, but what they cannot formulate, because it then becomes marketing. I don't want to know. It's up to me to give a kind of message, and up to them to pick out what they like.